Hello everyone. I just want to um, tell you how to make some spirals in Autodesk Inventor and not just a simple spring some some spiral springs like this and make a connection between them. I was asked in on CropCat for that. And someone asked me how to do it this one. There's a tutorial in SolidWorks and how to do it in Inventor. So I show you how to do it. So, just start with the windings here and later connect those windings. Just start with a new part, doesn't matter what kind of, just make a three dimensional part. Create it. So, now you're going to create a two dimensional sketch on a plane. And basically, it's just, just a line here. And project your main planes or your main axis on it and create a line in the form of a cone. So you can imagine it's the surface, the border surface of the cone and select the middle middle uh, axis, make it a center line and create a top diameter of 10 for example and lower diameter of 20 and a height of also, yeah, let's say 15, that's fine. Okay, finish the sketch and use the revolve tool to revolve this line only around the middle axis. Okay, so you have the border surface of, of a cone and continue with a three dimensional sketch and create a, a helical curve. Change the type to spiral. The diameter is the inner diameter of your of your spiral. So in our case it's 10 millimeters, that's fine. Pitch is the difference between each winding. Let's say it's about one for example. And revolutions, let's say five revolutions should be nice. Okay. Then select your upper diameter and your lower lower diameter. Then you have to enter the diameter again, just change it to 10 again. I do this because my, my inventor makes some trouble when I d erase the millimeter and the following numbers. Apply it. Okay. Now we have our spiral and we need to project it to the surface of the cone. Project the surface, select the face here and select the spiral. Direction is the just the middle axis here. And where it is. Here, okay. Apply and finish it. Okay, so now basically we have our windings here finished. And we now need to make some thoughts about how to create um, or finish splines because it's very difficult in Venture to, to handle these uh, three dimensional sketches here just have some very simple tools over here. You know, did not even have the uh, pattern tool or circle pattern tool here, just have my mirror tool. And so I finished the sketch and create some some planes as axes to create uh, two spirals and connect those. Okay, I finish the sketch and create a plane with an offset say minus 20, okay. Create an axis, an intersection axis between two planes. Uh, deselect this one once again. This axis and this this plane and this plane and now we have our axis here. Make the rock plane invisible. Okay. Create another plane with an angle this one and select one of those enter let's say 45 okay now we move the the working plane up, uh, before our revolution of the surface it's important that it can work in a 3d sketch of the of the work plane Go back into the three-dimensional sketch and use the mirror tool here. 
select the curve and your mirror plane okay basically that's it now you need to connect those parts and you do it with a spline it's very important because if you use just a simple line you cannot make it tangential to the endings of the spiral so connect it and press OK here now you can use the tangential tool in here and make those parts tangential to, to each other okay seems to be fine and you can finish the sketch now so now you can create a two-dimensional sketch of your profile you want to sweep around these windings use a crown plane here and you can project your geometry and protect the cut edges of your uh, cone. It's very important because if you don't do it, you cannot place the profile correctly. And it's very important, yeah. And this one have to be on the spiral and on the surface projected surface plane of the cone here. If it's somewhere else you get not in the right dimensions so you can enter whatever you want and the dimensions will be false. So it need to be exactly on the on the edge of the of both. Okay now you can finish it and use the sweeping tool here. Profile already selected and you just select the, the path of your spiral and it looks good yeah okay now you have everything make it unvisible also the locking axis and now you can make it also the revolution surface unvisible don't need it anymore and basically that's it I will share the 3D models in a tutorial and yeah thank you for watching